Welcome back to Make Way for Cat. So this is a brand new second file. I am at the point where I'm getting Gilly's head. I'm going to turn that into the captain here. Um, I already have everything set up for the final ending, but I want to do Gilly's, uh, Gilly's figurehead here because last time I did the gorilla figurehead. Um, so I want to see what happens if I give him this. And also after this quest is when I'll get what I need for the Yeti. And then I can go up and do that. So, oh, do you need something? Are you that guy, the new Smith? Yes, I believe I'm that guy. My name's Smith. Last year I got into a gnarly accident while cruising the sea. Lost my left hand. Oh, you need one of those... Thumb? Just a thumb. I'm a positive dude and I miss giving the thumbs up to everyone doing an awesome job. Couldn't you just use your other hand? I am, but what if someone does a super awesome job and only gets a regular thumbs up rather than a double? Um, so you want me to make you a hook with a thumb? You can do that? that would, I would be so grateful. Um, that's the, I believe it's the recipe we already have. Yeah, the prosthetic arm. Which we use to make the submarine. Okay. Were you able to make that figurehead for me? Yes, so here's the Gillies figurehead. And someone also asked me to see what happens if I give him this one. Uh, this is the the token that we got from Gilly for the explosion at the beginning of the game. So we'll give the Gilly figurehead. Here it is. I hope you like it. It looks splendid, and I see the details honoring the people we lost. It's poetry. Gilly would have loved it. I feel like that's exactly the same. I'm glad you like it. I hope this will accompany you on many safe and exciting travels. And I hope this is payment enough. Thank you, Smith. Okay. Can I talk to you about something? What can I do for you, buddy? I wanted to show you this token that Gilly gave me a few moments before the explosion. Whoa, amazing. I thought I'd never see one of these again. I wish I still had mine. What is it supposed to be? It's a Velhem token that Gilly carved himself. That kid was so talented he could have lived in any village he wanted. The secret thing is that he'd always hide something inside. Really, even in this one. I sure hope so. Here, let me see. Wait, wait, will it break the token? Probably. My fingers aren't as dexterous as his, but if we don't do it, we'll never know what true treasure he was hiding. Choice is yours, Smith. Lose Gilly's token. Let's do it. Just give me a minute. Turn the wheel three times, pull the sails up, apply some pressure here, and... Voila! It's completely broken. But at least we got his real treasure. What is it? It looks like schematics of some sort, a figurehead, I bet. That would have worked real... Oh, is that how you get the schematic for his head? Funny how that works. Even gone, he still manages to reach out. Here, it's yours. Thanks. It does look like a very well-designed figurehead. I'll try to turn this into a reality. That's how you get the figurehead of Gilly. Okay, well, we already turned that one in, so... Alright, and I just picked up, there was a shirt on the line there. We need that. So these potions, Bia's potions, it's a warm tonic. You get that from the potion uh, vendor over in the desert village, or if you've got a, a potion shop up in your town, you can get it from them as well. And then the eternal flame ember, which you make in your forge. So uh, anyway, we're done with that. And the little Gillies token that you get, you only get that from him if you don't look at his diary. Okay. We'll do that prosthesis later. I think it's here. Here. Yes. Left. Up. Right. Down. And done. Okay, so let's go pay the Yeti a visit. And this is how you unlock the last slot. 
in your adventures guild. You have a present? Shirt. It helps a bit, but I'm still not in the mood. How much will it take to get your mood back up? Maybe like three gifts total? Hmm, alright, let me think about what else would be a good gift. Shirt. Hot tonic. Yep, it helps a bit, but I'm still not in the mood. Okay. And... Colonel Flame Member. Thank you for helping me get my mood back, but it's only a matter of time before my heart grows cold again. How about you just come and stall? The weather there is very nice, not too hot, not too cold. You have a place for me? I can make you something. Okay, then if you make room for me in your village, I'll do whatever work you want me to. Sounds good. I'm going to go explore the world for a bit. When the birds tell me you've made some space for me, I'll come to your village. And there we go. We've got him. All right. Now it's time for the good ending. Oh, he's here. I could have sworn he was not here before. When I first opened this up. This is where you get your undying candles. Here we go. Opal enough. We cannot continue this. It will be the devise, demise of Elian. We have to think of the land and its people. Dristan, we've already had this discussion. Elian's resources are limited. What happens when we run out? When that time comes, we'll turn on each other. We must ensure Elian's prosperity and security. The Sneakies told me everything. I know what you truly seek. You cannot risk awakening that monster again. Oh, please. Those Sneakies are a joke and we all know it. I'm sure they tried to frighten you for fun. You cannot pretend you see no danger here. Just think of what you're willing to risk again. Hey, what's happening over here? Oh, Smith. Thank God you're finally here. Driston thinks I should reconsider my offer to you. Look, it's much more than that, you. I know what happened back then. Arcana told me. Opal, what's happening? I want the truth. What's happening is that they all hate that I'm the king of this mountain. I lost a good friend. That is true. Someone I truly, truly cared for. But we had a new discovery on our hands. We wanted to study it. I've spent years searching for Vaster. All my miners have made tremendous sacrifices. And after all our efforts, we finally picked up Vaster's trail. You have? Where? In this mountain. Your dreams, my dreams, answers about the past, a better future for all of us. Everything is behind that door. And how come there aren't search parties in there as we speak? Vaster blocked the path to make sure that no one would follow her. But I believe that a blacksmith as legendary as her can figure out how to get through. Let's test that theory. I'll go in and get to the end of it myself. Smith, I know this is all confusing and you don't know who to trust, but please, we have everything we need to be happy. Don't repeat the same mistakes we did. Oh yeah, and the same mistake I made in the last playthrough. And, as someone pointed out in my comments, if you get to this part, don't leave anything in these treasure chests, because you'll never get back here again. Oh, I forgot what I needed to make down here. Guess we're just gonna have to do this all over again. Alright, gotta write these down. Two iron plates. Two by twos. Um, two hinges. Four bolts. And I think I need two rounds of both of these, so four, four, and eight. Let me check to see.
Oh yeah, this part. Well, that was quick and easy. Oh, right. I wasn't paying attention to the letters on the wall here. Y and V. There one down here. L. Oh, we just got four hinges. Okay, great. O L Y V, I believe. Olive. Perfect. Okay, so we need to fix that one up there still. And this one. Yep, exactly the same. Nope. Stay right there. this. Oh, great. Four, two. So we're still going to need four more bolts. Oh boy. We don't need ore. And we don't even need the Damascus, bill Damascus billets either. Yeah, that's good. I'll just go with this. Okay, so two more. These. And four more screws. I need eight of these. So we just had them to fall on all these switches. And we can get through.
Okay. The mouse knows, or the mouse, where the mouse, the dragon knows that we are here. And of course, we see what happened to Vaster. Okay, so this is where the choice comes down. I made the mistake of sleeping first, thinking I needed to refill my energy. But that is not the case. So we are actually going to go this way and talk to the dragon. Because we've been able to talk to animals throughout this entire playthrough. And we got Dragon Whisperer. <laughs> you dare to face me with no armor? No legendary sword? You? How could one so small think he's... How can one so small thinks he has... He stands any chance at all against my might? Tell me, little mouse, are you a fool or foolishly brave? Um... Ahem, Mr. Dragon. Uh, I mean, sir. No, my lord. Um... I'm blowing this. I might as well grab the salt and season myself while I'm at it. You're strange. Who are you? I'm just a blacksmith who moved to this land in the hopes of becoming the best smith. A blacksmith, huh? One came many years ago. You wouldn't happen to know their name. Perhaps you're speaking of Vaster? Hmm, yes, that name. I know it. A little mouse blinded by puny vengeance never came out of its hole. Who is this Vaster to you? Well, I'm nobody to her. We never had the chance to meet. Frankly, all I've heard is that she was a great master smith and that I should hope to be like her one day. I don't know much more than that. Your friend is a thief. Nothing more than a grave robber who stole a part of my ancestors. I assure you, this is the first I am hearing of grave robbing. It sounds very out of character. I have punished your kind once for this affront, and now you show up again? Why should I believe you're not here for the same reasons? It's rare for your kind to fall so far in the dark. Hmm. Well, the way you describe it kind of has me thinking that that is what I'm here for. You are a careless bunch. I knew you'd come back. The secret is no longer safe. Wait, wait. Please don't eat me. There is so much I don't understand. Could you please explain what happened and give me a chance? I swear, I mean no harm. We dragons are living embodiments of magic. Our bodies decay, but the magic in our bones gets left behind. It crystallizes into what your people call an ore. But what you do not see is that this ore is the essence of our souls. These crystals are my ancestors. And all your people could think about was how it would give them more power. Oh, I see. Yes, well this could be a problem. Some humans have a thing for power. Perhaps we can say I just missed it? I didn't see you and I and you didn't see me. Missed it? You won't attempt some pathetic last ditch effort move to try to get some? I bet whoever told you to come down here will pay well. Nope, I'm good. Come on, I haven't played a little cat and mouse in so long. I could use a little bit of fun. That really won't be necessary. I'll just be on my way. Wait, you truly do not want to take any of my Adamas? What if I told you I would give you some? What would you do with it then? I'm not sure. Just humor me. That much power is a lot of responsibility. I've come to love and treasure this land and its people. I would hate to see it all go to ruin over, no offense, some crystals. You may just be the only capable. You may just be the only capable to carry the burden of this power with us. I will give you one piece. The one that was in... The fist of your friend. Consider it a second chance for your kind. Disappoint me and I will burn your beloved land to a crisp. Eh. You know, I think we are just fine without it. Little Smith, it is only a matter of time before someone else comes and tries to get hold of this power. Your heart is good and you are worthy. Take it. Show your kind how to use it for good before the wrong people exploit this power for their own good. It's up to you to lead them down the right path. I will be watching from the skies. I've really got no choice but to take it, huh? Fine. I'll do my best to make sure we go down the right path. You know what awaits your kind if you don't. Now go. Yeah, I didn't see anything down here. What's that glowy thing in your pocket? Nothing. Smith, my boy, I'm glad to see you. The ground, it was shaking. We all feared the worst. Oh, wow. Hi, everybody. After that whole incident at the bridge, I went to grab Peregrine. We sought Myrtle's advice, and she suggested we stand together and call for a meeting with every chief. Well, thank you all for coming. What happened here? 
You were brave to enter that mountain, Smith. It inspired us all to put a stop to Opal's reckless behavior. Oh, Opal and Jade are in the cage now. Arcana is right. His paranoia of not being able to provide for his people has become dangerous. His solution was only going to destabilize our way of living. In his hands, dragon power would disturb the balance and peace we cherish. The time will come. You'll all think I'm out of my mind now, but you'll see. You're, you are lucky to not know a life of scarcity and hunger. I'll do anything to ensure a future for my people. Our people. Opal, you forget. This land is home to us all. What's going to happen now? Our, I'm betting it'll be a good time to chime in. Opal and Jade will be sent away. My men are preparing the ship for the voyage now. Come on, Smith. I can still be useful. Don't let them send us away. My family, they need me. He has a point. Who will take care of Malima if Opal's gone? The miners have voted for Feldspar to take the role. You've actually met them before. Yeah, it was the cloaked figure. They're the person with the hood. A very dependable and honest fellow. Exactly what Malima needs now. What's going to happen now? You would think after preventing such devastation, you would be eager for a vacation or something. I understand the need to stay busy, Smith. When you have a chance, come see me in Lupal. I think we have a lot to talk about in regards of this new ore. Yes, we will need to understand it better in order to craft ethical tools. What about you, Driston? Will it be like old times back in stall? I wouldn't want it any other way. I am very much looking forward to continuing our partnership. Maybe we can even get you behind the anvil. I'll need help to make sure every order is fulfilled. Aha, one thing at a time, kid. For now, let's go back to stall. We've still got a lot of work to do. And here's hoping that we can unlock the final forge. Which I do believe is, oh, to all we've lost forever in our hearts. Okay, so that was the good ending, and we're going to get into the post quests of the good ending.
All right, and we're back. Uh, can I talk to you? Sure, what's up, kid? I know about Vaster and you. I understand why you wouldn't be forging anymore, but... Would you want to get back behind the anvil? With you by my side, I would. But I'm missing a hand. I can't see how I could work well, or work the anvil. Maybe there's a way to forge you a new arm. Oh good, we need two of those now. A new arm? You'd really be a, a genius, kid. Don't get my hopes up. Alright, so we need to forge two arm prosthetics. Um, I remember the layout, but I don't remember which um, metals I need. So let's take a look. Okay, two, two hinges. Or two. Oh, what I really should do. I've been using this a lot in my second playthrough. It is really, really nice. Need four of these. No. Two, four, six, eight. Oop. Over here. Oh, inventory's full. Right. Um, okay. I will just drop this stuff off for now. we'll come back to because there's an achievement for it and that I'm not sure when we're gonna need it but soon probably Okay, now we just click this twice. Did I not- oh, did I not make those? Here you go. Look, I figured out how to give you a hand. Oh, wow. What's up? Don't cry on me. I, I'm just sweating from the eyes. Thank you, Smith. This means more to me than you can imagine. How about you come help me out in the forge, like you and Vaster used to? Yes, boss. I'll put schematics on the table to expand the forge for me. In the meantime, I'm going to Vaster's old forge. I got to train to get used to this arm, and it wouldn't hurt to say goodbye to her properly. Sweet. What do we got? Alright, six. One by two. Damascus. Three bolts. A volcanic hammer. And a tidal hammer.
Okay, so Volcanic takes this. Vital takes glass. Now do I have those ore on me? No, I do have to pick those up. But in the meantime, we need... Three bolts. I believe we have four... These on us, so that's plenty. We need six of these. That's all the pieces. Rid of that. Oh, and I gotta see what the final adventure guild needs. Bam. Apprentice becomes the master. Damascus, everything it looks like. That's it, though? As far as the coins go? I thought it would be much more expensive than that. <gasps> hey! We'll put the items in the mailbox. Okay. How do we get him to forge? See if he'll make these Damascus pieces for me. Here, let's go to bed and see what happens in the morning. Come to me when you have orders to complete- Oh, orders. I see. He'll fulfill orders, but he won't do the upgrade stuff. Yeah, like, if we just need stuff made. Alright. So what we really need is... What am I doing? Equipment. A dagger, I know. Okay, dagger's easy. It's just a, a one and one. Okay, so we need one, two, three, and four. Now we need a batch of these. 
two, three, four. Four of these. And three big ones. Then we need to sharpen. Oh, we need one of these small squares too. So real quick, the dagger. And then after this, we're going to go to Lupal and see if we can figure out the rest of the good ending quests. Oh, where is it? Adds room for another adventurer. We got that. Finish the reconstruction of your village. Stall stands tall. Oh, I did the final house upgrade. Wow, okay, village is complete. Awesome. On our way over, I'm gonna drop off this other prosthetic arm. Oh, nope. Here you go. I think this is payment. It's instructions I found in a sunken chest. Ooh, for what? <gasps> what is that figurehead? That wasn't in here before. Oh no, that's the regular figurehead. They updated the model? They did update the models because they were they looked more like busts before. This one just has a regular. Ah, okay. That would explain why I didn't see that quest before. If they just added it in, to give you that one. She wanted us to meet her here. Why doesn't she just trust me? Is everything okay? No, I've got this great idea, but Granny Newt doesn't trust me enough. She won't let me order the parts I need. Oh, the gears. Improving the telescope. We did that quest in the other play file. Where's Arcana? There she is. Hey, Smith, could I steal some of your time? Sure, as long as you won't get me in another dangerous situation. You know, I'm truly sorry for approaching the situation this poorly, but I've seen the error of my ways. It's okay, Arcana. Water under the bridge. We're off to a new start now. 
Speaking of new start, I've been studying the properties of this ore. Adamus, right? Yeah, that's what the dragon called it. Right, so I've been studying it, and we can use that to better everybody's lives. That's great news. Right, I designed something based on the Alembic you had repaired. Do you think you could make it? Let me see. Hmm. Yeah, that's definitely doable. If needed, I can even go ask the dragon for some more of that ore. Thanks, I'll wait here for you. Okay, the portable Alembic. Let's do it. Bottles. I think I remember that one. It's going to be six of these. And two of the wider ones. And the pipes. We're going to need 18 total of these. How full is my inventory? We're good. Okay. Now we need... Oh, we're going to actually need another one of these to make that compass point. And four of these. Can't remember if these go at the top or the bottom. Top. Okay. We're good. Ooh, I forgot to sharpen that one. That should be everything. You managed to make it? I have. What are you going to use it for? This will allow us to train people to make potions and tonic away from their lab here. We'll be able to travel to the home of our patients and treat them directly there. That's awesome. I'm going to great. It's going to greatly improve how many people can benefit from your tonics. Exactly. I'll go see Copper Copper Bits. That's what I'm going to call her. <laughs> and show her how to use this. I sent this letter to the other chiefs to tell them about the promise of Adamas. I bet they've all been... Hard at work on figuring out how to use this power to help our people. You should go see them. I will. Before you leave, I wanted to offer this to you and your ox friend as a token of reconciliation. What would we get? A turban. Okay. Okay, so we need to go and visit other towns. Okay, there's one up here. That we're the closest to. Okay. 
Peregrine, hey, Arcana told me you've been thinking about some innovations to help you. Yes, I have a great idea. One of the biggest problems we have is to preserve the resources that we get from the land. You guys are going to use the freezer. Okay? Something I call the freezer. That's a cool name. What is it? Imagine a box where it's always cold. Even when it's in the scorching heat of the desert, the ingredients would be preserved. That's a great idea. It would make transporting them to the different villages a lot easier. Exactly. We wouldn't need to hunt as much as we currently are. Okay. Got it. Who is this? Hawk. Mm. Oh, yep. I remember doing this quest in the other one. We'll just pick up pick up stuff and uh, come back for these later. Am I going to need some more of the ore? Yeah, the Damas and then the mining drill. My guess is we're going to have to talk to someone in Olima. Nope, we're going to pack up. We'll check here. I'm thinking it's probably going to be the roof or the the roof one, the the mountaintop one. Oh. Oh. Okay, I remember this quest as well. I actually made one of one of those cages in advance for him. Okay. Not here. The lantern. That's so funny. You don't need the sword yet? There he is. Good to see you again. How are you liking that magical chandelier? It's splendid and it's good that you're here. I have a task for you. Yes, the innovation you came up with. Indeed, I've put it on this piece of paper. Wow, that's a big drill. It would help us a great deal. You sure are straight to the point. I'll come back once I've made it. Okay, let's see if we can get two more pieces of Adamas. Oh, wait, I guess you can come back here. If you got the good ending. You got the bad ending that doesn't exist anymore. Mr. Dragon, sir. Oh. I don't- I don't talk to him. I just literally take what I need. Well, that's cool that he's still here.
Oh! Literally right here. Let's do this. Okay, let's make both. Freezer. Grill. Oh, I forgot what I needed for the gears. Ooh, okay. Gears, we need two sets of them. Eight. We do have some extra of the steel ones, so we can get that one just fine. And then we need eight of these. Oh, we need a minecart. Okay, so we also... Oh, we need two wheels. All right, let's let's work on the freezer first. This one I can handle. Thought I had a couple more than that. We need a sheet of glass, too. Okay. Freezer. Done. Inventory's not full. What are you doing? Uh, okay. I really don't have any chests in here. All right, well. Destroy item. Let's destroy. Okay, so wheels. To make wheels, I'm certain I need eight of these. What's our Damascus like? We're okay. But it does take a lot of Damascus to make a minecart. I think I remember the minecart, but I'm just going to bring it up so I'm not guessing here. No, it's a middle plate. I know it's two small ones at the top. It's the minecart.
Is that like the one recipe I didn't pick up in this game? <laughs> okay, we're going by memory. If I remember correctly, I know I need these. I know I need one of these. And I think it's two of these. It's either two of these or two of these. I think it's these because it's the wheel wells. You, 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 there, there, and there. Yes. Okay. We didn't sharpen our pieces. Wait. Does that not go there? Oh, a Damascus, a Damascus sharpened strip. And then let's sharpen all these. Unless, are these Damascus too? Hold on. Yep. Well, okay. Should have known that this mining drill was all Damascus. And done. Tournament? Where is he? Here it is, another challenge perfectly executed by me. Well done once again. As I said, this will help us a great deal. May I ask how exactly? This invention will allow us to stop the use of bombs to find new ore veins. I think you'd agree that less explosions is always a good thing. I sure do. You really are a good leader if you came up with this so fast. Thank you. Here's your compensation. Oh, five grand? Oh, that's right. I just thought about it. Nugget is his name, the blonde guy who wanted the sword. He only wanted the sword because he was trying to leave town because he didn't like being under Opal's rule. So we likely won't get that quest. I don't think we can go this way. We're gonna have to go around a little bit. Can we go under the bridge? No. Okay.
Oh, right, the treasure maps. I didn't- I don't need to actually do the treasure maps anymore because we completed that quest a long time ago. Alright, freezer for you. Here you go. That's amazing. Indeed, the first bird, and now this. I'm glad we finally have someone to replace faster. Here's your payment. Four grand. Yeah. Okay. So I believe that's it. That's all the good ending quests. I know there have been a few people in my channel, or in my comments, saying that the end quests for this one were lackluster. Um, I think the end, the good ending is a lot better than the bad ending, though, because at least with the good ending, you're seeing what your good choices are coming to. Now they're making improvements to everything. Whereas with the bad ending, Opal just has you make a bunch of weapons and you literally have no idea what he's going to do with them. Just grabbing all these shipwrecks. And this log is jumping because this is where I get the next piece. Anyway, okay. I Actually, I think that's it. We just finished all the quests. Let's go back to Dristan. I mean, he is now... He's now our uh, smith apprentice. I think we're done. Alright, that's it. So this was the good ending episode, as well as the Yeti, and actually how to get Gilly's figurehead as well. So I am planning one more episode. That I want to finish this game completely. So if you remember from the bad ending that there is this collectathon bot up here where we have to make perfect items of everything. So yeah. I'll have the iron ones already started because I finished the iron ones in that episode. So when I come back I'll have the iron ones in here already. And we'll work on the rest and see what happens when we get that complete. I'm still looking for the last scroll for the the cart upgrade, which is the traveler scroll. Let's see, is the table over here? Yeah, this one, the traveling gear scroll. So yeah, if anyone knows where to find that, maybe that's the reward we get for finishing that collectathon, but that's all I really have left to do. So anyway, thank you guys so much for watching, and I will see you in the next one.